Hello there, today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your Apple device on 6.1.3. Now to show you real quick, my device is currently on 6.1.3, I'll put a picture up in the corner. Uh, this jailbreak is a tethered jailbreak, which means whenever your battery dies or you turn your device off, you need to plug it into the computer that you did the jailbreak on with the uh, Red Snow file and reboot it from there. I haven't found this to be much of a problem, but it's all preference. So to get this started, this is only supported with the iPod Touch 4th Gen, the iPhone 4, and the iPhone 3GS. The two files you'll need, uh, one's Red Snow, and the other is the iPod 6.0 Restore IPSW file. Both these will be in the description for you to download. So you want to run Red Snow, go to Extras, and select IPSW. Now you want to select the IPSW that you installed, uh, downloaded earlier and then it'll say it can be used for the rest of this Red Snow session. Then you want to go to Jailbreak. Now this is preparing the kernel and uh, patching the kernel and preparing the jailbreak, getting all the files and stuff set up for when you actually do the jailbreak. Alright, these options, install Cydia, you want to have that enabled and enable battery percentage. This is whether you want your battery percentage to be shown in the top corner of your phone or uh, iPod Touch. It's all completely up to you and install custom bundle that's also up to you uh, if you click it you have to find it I'm not using that so I'm not going to worry about it next is you have to put it into DFU mode which I'll be showing you how to do now to boot your device into DFU mode you want to first turn off your device and then once you do that the little next right here will light up letting you know you can move on and you pretty much follow the on-screen directions. So first hold down the power button for three seconds, then hold down the power button with the uh, the home button with the power button for the next 10 seconds. And then once that timer is gone, you release the power button but hold your home button. There we go, so it's exploiting lime rain. Just keep holding down the home button starting to do all the different stages there we go so it is still doing stuff I'll speed through this process fast forward okay now that it's done you'll see a bunch of text on your screen we're just gonna wait you can see still going through all the steps now it's going to reboot your device now we're not quite done yet Now once you're done with your jailbreak, you'll notice that once you slide, if I can even slide it, there we go, once you slide it, you'll see that Cydia is not there. That's because we're not done yet. Once you're done, you want to click back, and you want to select IPSW one more time, right here. And then you want to click Just Boot. Now you want to set your device into DFU mode one more time. So once again, you want to power off your device. And right now, if you remember how to do it, you don't even have to click Next, and you can just set it into DFU mode, and it'll detect it right away.
There we go. Just patching files. It's pretty much doing everything it did the first time, only you have to do this step in order to have Cydia. As far as I know, anyway. There we go, as you can see the pineapples loading on the screen. Alright, and then you're done. Alright, now that it's done rebooting, you, as you can see, scroll over and Cydia will be installed. If it's not there the second you look at it, just wait like 10 seconds and it'll appear. And then once you click Cydia, you can select, there's uh, three options, there's user, developer, and hacker. You select the one that you are, I'm a user, so I click that and hit done. And then you want to close out of City and reopen it, and it'll download all the packages and do all that stuff. Let it finish before you do anything. And thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe if you liked it. Like it if you liked it. I really appreciate all the support. Comment if you think there's stuff I could have done better. In the next video, I'll show you some of the more important and I guess more fun Cydia apps that there are to download and how to get started with Cydia really. So thanks for watching.